Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's question of the day, we will be constructing a cladogram based on derived characters. We have six made up organisms and seven derived characters or traits like eyes, mouth, spots, etc. The plus signs indicate that the character is present within that organism. In some tables, instead of using the plus sign, they could use zero and one, where zero means the trait is not there and one means that the trait is there. For example, for the character eyes, all six organisms have eyes. Meanwhile, if we look at organism one, it only has eyes and it doesn't have any other trait. Let's start drawing the cladogram. The first thing we need to do is draw a diagonal line. With derived characters, it is always easier to start with the least number of common characters and then work our way up. Now, clearly, organism one only shares eyes with the rest. So eyes must have appeared first and the first organism we're going to place will be organism one. The next trait that is shared by all the remaining organisms is mouth. So mouth must have been the next trait to appear. And hence we will place organism two next on the cladogram. Similarly, spots is a trait that is shared by the remaining organisms three, four, five, and six. So we will place spots next as a derived character and place three accordingly. Now that we placed one, two, and three, looking at four, five, and six, we notice that spikes is the trait common to all three. So spikes is definitely our next derived character. But how do we decide on which organism comes next? We'll have to look at the remaining traits. We have one tail, few tails, and a pink body. We have to now decide based on choosing the simplest explanation as to how these traits appeared. The two organisms, four and five, have tails, but they don't have a pink body. Whereas organism six has a pink body, but it doesn't have any tails. So which scenario is more likely? Did the organisms evolve to have a different body color like pink and then evolve back to having green bodies and also acquire tails? Or it's simpler to assume that some acquire tails and others later evolved to have pink bodies. So most probably having tails appeared somewhere here and both four and five belong here. This is by no means the perfect way or the most accurate way of constructing the cladogram. That's why a lot of similar questions come in multiple choice questions where you have to choose the best representative cladogram based on the data. Because you could easily argue that six goes first and then four and five. We're not saying that's not possible. We're just saying we're going to go with the easiest explanation, which brings us to number six and number six will be placed last. So I just need to a little bit adjust to fit six here. What does this node represent? It represents the common ancestor of organisms three, four, five, and six, all of them having the trait spots. What does this node represent? It represents the common ancestor four, four, five, and six. And which trait is common to all three? Spikes. And this was it for today's video. I hope you found it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.